Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL first round matchup, CCL 54, the money one. This is a really cool match actually. We've got Jahin in with an absolutely monster Nurgle team, one of the favourites of the competition. Up against Magikarp Red, who is a former winner, I believe, uh, with also like a really good, a really good Chaos team, right? And not a really good Nurgle team, they're both Nurgle teams. So it's just going to be an absolute monster fight. Uh, Magikarp Red has a wizard. Um, and in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello! Hello! Yes, uh, Magikarp uh, did win uh, with Dwarves in a final against uh, uh, the Canadian streamer, uh, Mr. Page, mm. who were playing uh, Lizardmen at the time. Wow. So not his usual chaos, um, which would have, of course, had a better shot at winning against Dwarves, but Lizardmen aren't too bad either, so very well done by Magikarp getting that one. <laughs> but he should have a difficult time here, uh, not only because he goes second in punching, which is terrible uh, in a in a kill team versus kill team matchup, but also because he's the smaller team, right? Yep, he's got but he's got he's got one claw palm, and yep. uh, Jahanian has two claw palms. They um, both have a couple of uh, perms, right? Do they? Probably. Oh yeah, there's an arm um, seven. Um, oh, seven isn't that bad though, because there's lots of claw around. There's a yeah. strength five tentacles, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, minus edge, but again, that doesn't matter much. So yeah. he's got two claw palm and a claw mighty, versus one claw palm but three claw mighty. So it's not that it's not that far apart in killing power actually. And fifteen versus thirteen, so he's got more players. But then he's got the wizard, and he's got a really nice uh, ball carrier that isn't on defense with the wizard. So he obviously doesn't care care about the wizard that much. <laughs> 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 I mean, it might uh, feel like uh, the wizard's in for the long haul, right? Uh, going for the 1-1 one, one and then having the wizard for overtime. Or if he feels like he needs to score early because he's down too many players uh, in the second half, like uh, he, he might need the wizard for because he, he's had to put in a short drive. So I don't hate not fielding the, uh, the bulker for the first drive. I mean, at least Instead, he makes sure he's got it for his offense, right? Like I do that yeah, with uh, yeah. duels a fair amount. Yeah, and like, like this this drive um, is as much trying to stay on, trying to stay level in the killing, right? Yes. Uh, so, so fielding as many like foulers and killers as possible is is pretty reasonable. Yeah. Having said that, he has benched a he has benched a dirty player, which could have been on instead of maybe one of the best of goals, but then he's still got one dirty player. On, so. Yeah, yeah. Does he have a bribe as well? He doesn't, right? No, it's not <coughs> Yeah, it feels like they were fairly close in theory still. I have not, Nero, and it doesn't sound great. <laughs> no, it also doesn't seem like a good idea to talk about it, even if we did know it, because there's a match going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we still have it, and, and any form of energy level, and there's a good game on, we, we would like to talk about that game. <laughs> if, it, if, it was, the... if it was, you know, if it was like, say, Amazons versus Underworld, with like, when the Underworld had no chance, then, uh, then fair enough, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can <laughs> we can name it then. <laughs> we can bring it up then. This is, uh, this is good deal. Well. <laughs> this is very much on the uh, you know in the balance, isn't it? This one, anything could happen. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, we can we can blitz it in from the corner for an extra push. But it's a GFI, like an extra hit, but it's a GFI and it's not a claw. It's pretty hilarious that uh, two turns in, both beasts are <laughs> both stupid. <Yeah. laughs> Quite like that actually. So I, yeah, this this guy Battle Blitz, he could have gone one, two, three, four, GFI'd, hit him, chained him in, and then hit him with the other warrior. That would have been all right. But mm -hmm. again, is it worth GFI'ing? What is GFI'ing anyway? Um, well, that doesn't make any sense to have not had the. So he's done that, and he could have. So he's done exactly the exact play that he could have done, and got an extra hit, but just didn't get the extra hit. But this way, he got to hit with a claw, mighty, from the get go, right? Um, but he could have just no. But he could have yeah. blitzed it. It's not. It's not done anything. <laughs> it's literally not right. done anything. All right. It's really weird. 
Well, maybe he realized after the fact and then still wanted to do it because, like, showcasing that he saw the play, but too late. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shit, excuse me. DP does the thing to get the armor break. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, his stupid beast is removed. Uh, so, Hello, I mean, he probably left it uh, behind, um, realizing that it would get claw mighty. Yeah. And you can always come back and activate it if you want, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he can't anymore because now it's off the field. <laughs> yeah, because it happened to Only gets pushes, doesn't reroll it. Um, he is uh, on two rerolls. Does he, did he use a reroll already, or is he all, only on two from the beginning? He might only be on two. He is less TV. His team isn't really worse. He's on. He's on a lot less yeah. TV. So it's like it's. He's only like one piling on away from having the better team, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So was, it, was that one niggle that word? Because it looks like it. Yeah. Injury six, and he still got KO. Uh, yeah. Must have been. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Glorious 1D power. Yep. Which he wouldn't have been able to make that hit if he'd uh, <laughs> if he'd done, oh. if he'd done what I said. But you know, not 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 to not to rub it in or act superior. <laughs> I just am. <laughs> I was waiting for something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this might have been one where it was better not to blitz, right? Because yeah. it's just like. Okay, well he gets a he gets a cast, which looks pretty good. But he's getting his corp on the corp on now. Yeah, yeah. And he could have just and put it. He could have just put it in here. Also right? Yeah, he could have put really... it in here. Yeah, yeah. No, I I I thought that that was where we was going with the claw bomber. Um, and now the claw bomber really isn't like protected at all. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, the niggle player is very likely to leave the field here. Um, Yeah, there's the club bomb hit. Interesting direction. You could have hit him yeah. from here and pushed him back on the foul. Yeah, we would have much preferred that. Oh, and he doesn't even get removed, so... Yeah, definitely would have liked that foul right now. Um, yeah, weird. Hmm. Does not... Because like he could have assisted from this square as well, so it's not like he lost any. Yeah, no, it's super mm. weird. Mm. Really didn't like that play. Doesn't bang it in. Tries to get another turn of stall, but doesn't look like yeah, he's gonna get the whole, whole eight turns, does it? No, he's very unlikely to get eight turns. But uh, so yeah, taking as many turns as he can off the off the clock is important here. But really needs a power here, right? Gets it. Does he follow? Yep. Uh, he, he does. That he, is rowdy. This is really rowdy. This is a mega gang foul. Yeah, that one's oh, definitely the not okay. Jimmy Sadtastic <laughs> is now cast. And uh, that's region not a field. region. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, Jimmy. You're very sad. Mm. Must be playing Blood Bowl 3, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dodge foul. Oh, this could be you. amazing. And uh, that one has regen. And he sent off. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> for the uh, drive equity, that's still important. Uh, yeah, huge. That might get in the stall now, actually. Now he's just not scared about people getting hit as much as he. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and it, was... it, he might get this club on the foul as well, which might give him, <laughs> which might give him drive equity in a way.
Ooh. And that's also a region, right? Yep. Yep. A very important region, because that was dead otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. But at least coming yes, those places this, as well uh, was even Exactly, sure. this get, gets him another turn uh, for free. Um, which is huge. Free thanks to Regen. It was nearly super, super costly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking big ass 50 50 to take. <laughs> Here, just gang foul my pop over. I don't need it. <laughs> I have a backup one to spare, and now he's like done it again, right? Uh, because it regen, he, it, he feels like he can safely do it. Mm. Um, which is uh, bossy. There is a rotter right here, slickest Rick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's like for match equity, it's good, right? But for chalice equity, it's uh, very rowdy. Mm. Um, but yeah, in order to win Chalice, you've got to win the game. Um, and they're both. I mean, they're banging hard! Holy hell! Yeah. It's rowdy. It's a rowdy match this start. Yeah. Just the stun that time. Uh, it's amazing at this point. <laughs> There's. Is there a grand total of 11 players on the field right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? And maybe, maybe 10 after this. Uh, oh no, there's another one over here. Alright. Oh, fails. That's the break armor <clears throat> on the 6 plus. That one's tilting a little bit, Ooh. probably. That as well, he really just wanted to push him off to create a bit of a space. Yeah, yeah so there it goes in, yeah, that's very fair. Um, two turn drives, not um, particularly easy for Nurgle, but yeah, he does have that very good ball carrier that could actually get in and gets both his KOs back, so uh, yeah, big. It's fantastic to have a two-turn drive and he didn't really defend the score at all. He just banged yeah, and banged uh, yeah. and banged. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, warrior down is bad. So he's, uh, he's capped at 11 now, um, Magikarp. Um, but, yeah, gets gets a shot at uh, the score. And I mean, <clears throat> even burning the wizard here to get a score is pretty fair, right? Uh, no, 100%. Yeah. 100%. If using the Wiz gets you to score here, it almost wins the game, right? Because you're mm -hmm. expected to score on turn 8 on your drive, kind of. Like, not really, yeah. but kind of. I mean, it doesn't take any attrition uh, for the rest of this half, unlikely. Um, that is, uh, is very much on the cards, right? Going in with 11 to the, to the second half. Extra reroll doesn't matter. Uh, already had two for his two turns. Uh, Interesting that he put the move seven like back because you would have thought you would have just mm. put him forward and handed off to him. Yeah? yeah, probably what I would have done, uh, seeing as uh, yeah, it's only two turns, right? You don't want to make geofights. And then also piling on with his uh, claw bomber, like. <clears throat> Yeah, for for match equity might be might seem uh, like a good idea, but is it really right? Because there are rotters on the bench for uh, Johanian, and like he really needs to to really he really wants to score here, right? Rerolls that one, um, so it doesn't have a reroll for the ball pickup uh, or handoff. Um, but he doesn't want to do a handoff, I guess. He's just uh, basically not trying to score, is, is what he's doing. Yeah. But um, it's, it's, uh, with, with these Warriors being so far back, that's when, like, you know, you definitely want to then, like, facilitate the handoff to the move seven, right? Because if, yeah. if they were forward, like, you know, like in a normal Chevron or whatever, then fair enough, like, then it, then the, the handoff to the move seven looks a lot worse. Mm -hmm. But um, seeing as you're able to put him right on the line and get the ball to him, I think he should have tried harder to score a two turn here. Yeah, this is. Uh... It's just this beast man, that's it. Yeah, and, and that one didn't even get the uh, get the push uh, in the end on that warrior, so... Mm -hmm. 
escort looking very unlikely. Mm. Still not impossible yet, uh, but uh, Johanian is uh, able to put an out screen in place before taking any hits. Um, yeah. Pushes enough to get that out of scoring range. Obviously, doesn't follow up for any form of uh, uh, chain pushing, and gets the 2D pal on the Claw Mighty. Yep. Follows obviously uh, to buy long. Yeah, no, he, he had to. With, with the warriors being far back, he had he had to put the move seven on the line and, and get the ball to him. Yeah, yeah. Just had to. And gets the uh, 1D power on the uh, remaining last remaining chance to score. So, yeah, that was... Uh... Well, I'm, I'm saying last remaining chance to score. There is... A... He wasn't a chance to score. <laughs> he was here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, all right. There was literally only the best oh, man. Mm, yeah. <laughs> And barring chains, you know, like maybe you could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, that, that was what I was looking for, and even then, like I could, no, there were no chains if he didn't follow, and obviously would not have uh, on on just a push. Very. Ah, uh, so yeah, no. That was a, that was a really lame two turn. It was uh, slightly disappointing. Yeah. It was shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it was. <laughs> yes, it was fucking terrible, but I didn't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, but you can be honest. It's okay, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay yeah. to be honest. That was, uh, but I didn't want to be too critical. Mm. I mean, I'm not perfect. I've forgotten to score in turn eight. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, but you, you know, some things are still crap, aren't they? And that was yeah, yeah, yeah. that was crap. There was only one beast man, you know, that was in range. Yeah. Right? That's not good enough. And it was and a you, wrong, you, wrong you, got, you got a great chance basically for free right yeah. and you have to sort of take that um yeah nobody wants this match to go to overtime right even if you're on <laughs> top they you know we saw in the previous game like any any rando claw mighty hit can just kill somebody any 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 skillless regular blow hit can just kill somebody so so exactly. you want as few as turn as possible you, nobody wants overtime yeah and, um, and like you have to be scared every time you click the end turn button right because that means yeah, your opponent is now going to uh, to fucking punch you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Dementor, he did not take grab over claw on the beast because the beast needs doubles for for uh, mutations. So yeah. he took grab over pretty much nothing good. <laughs> Only chaos of uh, free mutations on every guy. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget the one time. That was so funny. It was literally so funny. It was great as well because, like, somebody said, some people, you know, the quick snap can mess up the one turn, and I'm like, no, dog to the dog's not going to mess this up. <laughs> Come on, he's too good for that. He's not going to mess up the one turn because of the quick snap. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> but that is a chalice winning one turn. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah. There you go. Flip me. This is... Uh... <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> oh, the ball down means he can pile. Oh, as he does, and gets the removal. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm reduced to calling everything shit and wrong. <laughs> Try and be nice, and this is what you get. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> The uh, second drive not starting the way that Magikarp would have wanted either. Um, it's looking a bit rough right now. Uh, from having like been in a pretty good spot three turns ago, you're now 
starting to probably be a little bit frustrated. No, he did have four, three rerolls uh, from the start, and uh, he's currently on four because of the kickoff event, so giving him another one. Uh, so he did manage to waste the reroll before we uh, noticed in the first half. Yep. Yep, somehow. That's how professional we are, how good we are at paying attention, even fantastic, when we're trying. <laughs> fantastic commentating team, yep. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's our friend, we are a fantastic commentating duo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. We read it before we, before we even started the cast. It's, if it's on the internet, it must be true. <laughs> yep, that's what I've learned from, uh, <laughs> from politics. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how much politics we're going to talk. Good. <laughs> oh dear. This is 3D on the warrior, isn't it? No, no, he's strength four. Mm. What's he gonna do? He's just gonna hit the hit the dirty player so he can pile on indiscriminately. Yeah. yeah, that's that's good. And then you still got that uh, warrior locked up and uh, well, sort of indisposed. Does pile on DP and uh, fortunately for him breaks armor, uh, yes. so can't get fouled this turn. No, it was nearly a disaster, wasn't it? Like if he hadn't broken yeah. AV, then you get the claw pom blitz and uh, yeah, and... and then foul. Yeah. That maybe so no foul. Blow hit. <laughs> <laughs> One of Rick's funniest <laughs> sayings. <laughs> All right, we're following up, for the, following up for the pile here. So you look at the pro gamers here, just foul on yeah. every single turn. But this might be a little bit dangerous. There might be a foul coming for him here. There's yeah, player they're, player. Uh, yeah, they are... Needs the beast activation, big time. They're very, very unafraid. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to give them that. Uh, ball staying way back in order to keep banging as long as possible. Yeah, okay, um, so that, the beast... that, that makes it safe. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it removes the uh, second to last shitter rotter. Uh, mm. And only rolls the boat, <laughs> boat down, I want to know there. And then skulls, the uphill. Yikes. Well, it's on, it's on no claw, right? So maybe that's fair to take that uphill. Yeah, um, that stops you getting clawed by this guy. Yeah, exa exactly. So, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> claw pop mirror matches. That's so flipping dope. Yeah. There's no other range for this guy to blitz as well, so it actually stops a claw pop hit probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> really? <laughs> What a joke. <laughs> really actually a good, <laughs> good uphill that it failed. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Might come and pressure the ball now, seeing as there's really mm. nothing left for these two to do. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, <laughs> exactly. they don't have anything to hit. <laughs> So they might as well start chasing the ball. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's sort of forced into the left flank here, because like that's where his remaining players are. Um, that have any form of agency. The DP's stuck, like, trying to... just get up. Uh, since that warrior that stalled on the um, turn. So, Isn't yeah. There's more hiding from this guy. That no, like not really. Like, was that a blitz? Mm. It was. And then follows up to pile. Mm. Yeah, pile the pile. Yeah, no. Claw pom the claw pom. Yeah, which nets him nothing. So that's very mm. unfortunate uh, for Magic RP. It's been pretty outbound so far in the second half. Like, not that they have caused much damage either of them, but like, He's the one that sort of needs it the most. Yeah, huge beast activation there, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even getting the knockdown as well, like that is massive. So he's able to sideline cage here, um, which is a lot better than like what could have been. Mm, I wonder if he should should just have gone for the the, the dive, right? The rocket dive. Yeah. 
I I wouldn't have hated that. Uh... <laughs> it would have been funny. At least. <laughs> but uh it can't take the banger away side out of either of these two. <laughs> you got a claw huh? on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It might have gone for like claw bombing something uh, further down the field, like you're closer to the ball if you'd gotten the power on the first hit, but he only got pushes. And then skulls this 1D, eats it, and gets removed by the DP. <laughs> yeah, so I'm that's not sure. Not I, think that might be worth the, I think that might be worth the reroll, honestly, because like. Yeah, um, either the reroll or not hits, taking it. Yeah, not yeah. take it. Because, but he's, give, he's getting a 2D instantly, right? But then that's okay. Yeah. It's, it's, using, it's using him, and you've got block. And you've got foul appearance, so it's not terrible to no. not take it. But you know, if you hit it, and then then it's using both players' actions to hit you is really good. But that that was maybe a reroll, honestly. Like with three, and if you stop the score, you win. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was maybe a reroll then. And especially seeing as the warrior was eighty-eight, so it wasn't like that, that removal, or at least the armor break wasn't that terrible or unlikely. And even an armor break with no oh. reroll would have been pretty terrible. This is a big one, though. Getting rid of that strength of guard, even for the drive with the, with the tents, like that's the second beast, right? The reliable beast. Yeah. And now he gets a claw mighty hit on the niggle and gets nothing. Um, and uses that uh, player to establish forward progression and force the blitz onto the DP, sort of. Um, oh, the, the blitz is on, is on the beast, right? Oh yeah, you're right, because he's down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Wow, no, he's just going to be oh. he's just going to blitz the claw pump. Hmm, I would have liked getting my claw pump up and getting the beast down, personally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also, it's also a bit fair not doing that this turn, just uh, standing them up and then but trying to dodge from tentacles, I guess, but, uh, yeah, because, like, the beast is stand firm, so if you don't, if you just roll pushes, you're kind of screwed. Like you're investing a lot of resources into taking that one. Well, um, not, not really, right? It's just you put I mean, this, it's this one more one player, back. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More player, and then it's seventy-five percent off down. You could even re-roll it. Like but that beast oh. combined with a wizard and everything is really holding his offense to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It, it does. It does. Now, now the removals are starting to come in as well for uh, Magic Corp. So now yeah. he. Like really winning the war uh, of attrition, and uh, some of these are permanent. So looking good for OT right now. If uh, if Magic Art can get the score, and that's that's looking increasingly a lot like as well, right? Yeah. Um, wow, it's hilarious. Every time the claw pump blitzes a claw pump, it doesn't even break AV. There's been three claw pump on claw pump hits, and not one of them has broken AV. What the flip? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's gotta be feel frustrating. Like even though like he's had a great couple of turns, that last part is enough to like tilt you a little bit, right? Because <laughs> that's the expected one. <laughs> it's the one's a bonus. And, like you sort of like yeah. <laughs> and it's it's going to be weird. Gentlemen's agreement for the claw bomb is to not hurt each other. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now the TV yeah. blitz gets him down. And uh, yeah, I mean he can't take the uh, pile because like he needs the uh, the positioning uh, with so few players. So like that beast is getting up again, and uh, forced to use a reroll in order to provide this assist and gets the KO. So yeah, fortunately for him, uh, that stops a lot of forward momentum. Uh, those two uh, knockdowns and that one removal. Um, Oh, and this 1D power is huge as well. <clears throat> yeah, so... Magikarp sort of stops in his tracks. Like, he's only on the half, at the halfway line here at uh, turn 15, and, like... It's got a path. Not though, a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a path. But no power there. And the beast getting up is massive. Holy hell, without that beast moving up. Uh, that edge of uh, goat is uh, def completely free. Uh, now he's at least stuck on tents, so he's able to move forward here. Um, I think that word, like, yeah, it does provide like something here, but like 
This opens up a four plus dodge from the warrior on the backfield, right? Yeah, but he, he can seal off for this other warrior. Yeah. Yeah. It was, so wouldn't warrior. it have been easier to seal off the other way around? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. So he just yeah. tags the the guys in the back. Wow, he doesn't go for it. Oh, he yeah, out of focus with him. Yeah, that's game win, right? Um, and he doesn't he reroll do? the three plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, G5. Was he going to three, three, two, two, or is he just going to hit the claw pummel? Oh, that's uh, well, no claw mighty. That's interesting, because obviously you don't want to blitz with this one because you'd have to you'd have to blockless uphill looking for double power, or you'd have to just try and make the tentacles roll. Yeah. If you did make the tentacles roll, then one, two, three, four, five, six, G5, GFI, GFI is all right actually. Yeah. Um, but the, the tentacles roll is the hard part, or you just dodge and hit. I think the four plus is just the the easiest and most likely yeah, way, right? Yeah, um, I, think, I think the four two is probably the play yeah. with a reroll. Yeah, really surprised that he didn't take that with the uh, with the game online. Um, yeah. So it's for the game, right? Like I think you could potentially even put in the reroll for the dodge there. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, that's your best chance to win, 100%. Especially considering, like, this half's attrition is really good against you. Um, yeah. And further attrition here. Uh, he takes the, the hits before uh, attempting the score, which is actually fair um, in this sort of matchup. Uh, even though I'm still against it. And he gets the score and he gets the removal. Uh, dead. Uh, rotter, uh, well, niggled rotter. Um, I mean, yeah, Ducky, but I think the four, I think the four two's better, right? Because then you've got that claw pommer. Maybe he's ready to do something as well, right? To short exactly with the more. with the uh, yeah, and, and just tagging the ball and uh, potentially like picking up on a good scatter, like yeah, the, the responsiveness of having that player after after a, a ball sack, like is is worth something, worth something as well, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And yeah, it wasn't that different, but still, I think the four two is better. Yeah. Or was it four two two? I thought it was, no, it was four, four two. two. It was four two. It was five squares away. Yeah, I thought it was four two. I'd rather four two than three three two two. But if it was four two two, then I don't know. I still, I still favour like doing it with Warrior anyway, even if I thought it was just one two. But you know, if if. If it it just honestly, Ducky, me and Dad will agree. Agree doesn't mean that we're right. <laughs> no, because we are two other five idiots. <laughs> so you could definitely be right, and it could have been. But I think it was four two versus three three two two. So, and yeah, okay, there's some value in the claw bomb hit because it's a hell of a player, isn't it? And and like you know, you want to you want to put him down and. Uh... Oh, in fact, yeah. is, the, is he dodge? Is he dodge? Was. The... No, it wasn't the dodger that was carrying. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, I mean, if he's dodged, then the claw bomb's definitely wrong, isn't it? No, he's not dodged, so... Yeah, I think... I guess the the, the the warrior wouldn't be able to hit him backwards, and he might have still been in range. With two oh, well, it was uh, Joanian that won... Oh, this is the last turn. My bad, my bad. This is, these are the bonus hits after this score. Yeah. Um, Three D. Yeah, Jahanian's really been banged out, hasn't he? Now. Yeah, he really has. Like it's some quality players as well. That's not just shitter rotters, right? But he does get a couple of chaos as well. Uh, two more that are out on chaos. Two recovery rolls, yeah. And he had more reserves. So. Yes. <laughs> It's still super interesting. They both come and back. It's both massive. There are no KO rolls for Magic Corp, but he's still on eleven. So like, <clears throat> is it eleven all it for both? It yeah. is eleven aside, and Magic Corp is on the toss with a wizard. Considering how much actual banging there's been and how many removals we've seen, yeah. seeing 11 v 11 here in OT is, is quite something. Yeah. Um, not what you would have guessed uh, by turn six. Um, but here we are. And yeah, as you said, Magikarp gets the toss with the uh, with the whiz. So even though he showed no 
inclination to score on turn six. <laughs> he is very likely to uh, this time around, right? Yeah. Um, super favored. Yeah. Regen, yeah, regen really doing work, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. And also KOs, right? All the KOs are back from both sides, and they've, there's been quite a few of those. Yeah. Uh, showing that babes are overrated. <laughs> oh, well, this makes things a little bit interesting, at least, right? Uh, deep kick and uh, um, and a blizzard means that it, it's going to take some time, uh, even with the move up, to, to travel the ball all the way across the field. Um, but there are, of course, enough turns for it. Um, that's not what you want to see, though, if you're Magikarp, but foul appearance on the uh, on the beast. So, like, there's instantly something um, back folding up the line uh, for uh, for doing a massive frame. He um, does have the claw though to hit him if he gets the, if he gets at least a, an activation here. He doesn't get an oh, activation here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's massive. Uh, Well, yeah, better, completely better underwhelming. Beast, anyway, yeah, but yeah, terrible, terrible. Otherwise. Terrible. <laughs> and I mean, probably the only thing that's keeping Janian in the game, right? Because like, if those, like, this could have easily been four removals, right? <laughs> it could have been, yeah. So, so yeah. Actually, still got a game here. Clopom on Clopom. Will we finally have a Clopom on Clopom armor break? We it's do. Niggled and it's an armor break. Instant follow up, of course. <laughs> and, and it's a stun. Great name of Kelly Small Hands. <laughs> it's still a stun. Despite being niggled and natural armor break, it's still a fucking stun. <laughs> <laughs> 3-1, yep. re-rolled into 1-3. <laughs> nice to get. A 6 is enough there to remove him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, crazy. it's really crazy how, how inept the claw bombers have been when hitting Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they've been fairly decent when hitting other stuff, right? It's mm. just, they do seem to love each other. <laughs> Is Jahin in the actual most dice man in both of No, I don't. No, no, no. It's That's Dimmy. Me. It's Dimmy. We no. all know it's Dimmy. Dimmy well, says it. Says Dimmy it would never most. lie. <laughs> Dimmy would never lie. <laughs> I mean, he's probably the most reliable character in uh, in our D and D, at least. You're <laughs> intelligence eight, and I'm definitely unreliable as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the oh, foul oh, removes oh. him. So there was an AV break out of that clop on Blitz <laughs> in the end, <laughs> just not the way Janian wanted. Yeah, not caught as well. Uh, massive, massive there for Magikarp. Um, a lot of equity for the drive. Uh, well, he's it, still got a clop on Mars in the uh, Janian, yeah. but might be less liberal with his piling on now. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, he sort of has to, right? Like, how is he defending the score? Um, if he if he piles on, like, now he's down players. Four. Uh, how long is he down? Oh, well, he's still down. Now he was uh, he got a free claw or a free the blitz with the claw mighty, um, but it did nothing. So he's still down players. He's not stupid. And it's not a knockdown. So now he has to provide, provide another assist and uh, take a block less block. And it's a 1 in 9. Ooh, and he gets the pound reroll. Regular blow, instant arm On break. Kale. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Trust the rotters. 
mean, it did cost a reroll, and he's down to one now. It was, uh, the, so... it was the niggle that got him luck. Oh, yeah, yeah, he wasn't AV, he was niggled, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Diced. Diced by being diced earlier and getting a perm on that one. Mm. So double diced. Full YouTube page. <laughs> Yeah. It does invite a bit of pressure. Yeah, like... <clears throat> Magikarp is very good at taking his fucking time moving down the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> he has been in no rush at any point during this game. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that was a very leisurely two-turn score attempt. <laughs> and even, like, his regular drive was, like, very leisurely leaving on that 4-plus dodge at <laughs> turn 15, like, getting... The bare minimum two scoring threats in. <laughs> um, yeah, and like now he's got a, a wall of players in front of that YouTube cage. Um, so, yeah, like this isn't easy to push through, even though he's up on players, because everyone's behind that screen and he doesn't get the pal. Two for one trade over here as well, away from the ball. Yeah. Uh, Rotter away from the ball. Beast on the other side of the ball. So yeah, this is this is a bit of trouble. He's in a spot yeah, cause, of bother. Yeah, because he didn't get that pal, like, and now he's like still forced into this barely like any form of hole. And this is going to be very easy to get in front, right? Yeah, and he forced himself anyway. I don't know why he didn't yeah. blitz here and, and like reform over there, get the band back together. But it's really weird that he's uh, that he's forced this. Yeah, because like he can't take GFIs because of the snow, and he's on one reroll. Um, so yeah, no, no. Those rerolls are now turning into equity. Um, Ooh, I didn't like this one. I did not like oh, this one. Oh, no, no, no. And then using the reroll and the file appearance in order to free up his player again and the beast to, to complete the screen. At least the beast, beast activates and gets back to, to fulfill this screening, but that was, uh, that was costly for yeah. not much gain. I really, I really like just blitzing with DP, right? Because he's defenseless and he hasn't got foul appearance. Yeah. yeah oh, do this hit first. Foul, one yeah, D. Do this hit first, then you see if you get the strength five in. I like yeah. that more than doing these blitz. But without a reroll, taking that one D. Oh. <laughs> Fails to dodge at the end, and it's an armor break. Um, His body doing good work. Stunned. Yeah, and then taking up that square is massive, right? Um, it, it does invite some uh, form of hole here in the middle, but like getting back and coming through that hole isn't going to be easy because they're fucking Nurgle. They're slow as shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's it's like the maybe the best chance that he's got because like he's he's uh, half his play team is on the other side of it, right? So, yeah, I think it was an overcommit by Jihani, honestly, with all the fists. Like, understandable, all right, because the move seven. I yeah, I mean, he's, he gets he's sort of forced into the overcommit with uh, with the wizard as well, right? Um, otherwise, yeah, just running down is way too easy. Uh, so, like, overcommitting there means that he's giving himself time, but he's also. Love this. Mm, Love this move. That's the scoring threat in place. Uh. So he's going to be able to score next turn, which is a problem for Duane. And like, how is he going to stop that? Like, he can't. Um... All he can do is try and get this guy over to like put the stink on him. Oh yeah, yeah, stink. That's going to be big. If he can get someone. Oh, he was tagged. We couldn't even do that. Oh dear. Yeah, this is uh, looking pretty dodgy. He's got. He's put as many players as he could in in between, so that's good. Oh, and the foul appearance on that order. Holy hell, that's big. Unbelievable. Claw on the claw on. Yeah, gets and he gets him. And, and really we gets him. Finally, have a removal. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, it's now uh, basically uh, oh, well. Now it's an open field. Roger's doing work again. Needs the beast to move out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, otherwise it would have been the dodge. Just like, even with that jump, it doesn't want to. to but... score. Oh, to bring back and kill. No, yeah, he... yeah, yeah, I did. I like this, actually. It, it's um... come so unbelievably well. <laughs> that just, uh, <laughs> that just caging seems pretty strong now. Yeah. But again, a four plus one, two, three. Because it was, it was a three plus to do the handoff. So yeah, I, I like this, uh, not, not going for the three plus. Um, it's a one in nine to lose, right? Yeah, but it's an 8 out of 9 to win. You'd take beating Jihane eight. 8 times out of 9 at the start of the match. So Yeah, now now he's not actually in range either for next turn. So yeah, maybe like this was a bit too far back with the ball, I think. Um, I think he had more squares to move without GFY. So maybe you should have just put more of like a screen further up the field. Um, Problem and then with that is the just... ball, though, right? Edge ball wrestler, so it's, it was tricky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. It was tricky. I wouldn't have hit it. But is out of rerolls now. That was uh, a big use of reroll on that dodge at the end. Mm. Got a lot of players he can free here with it. If this is yeah, that is, that is true. Like, this is... It's not a problem. It's not a He has put his players in range now, uh, but that ball is blitzable. <laughs> yeah, he's, I think putting this guy here would have been a lot better than than all yeah. the other side. That was uh, that was rowdy. Uh, just assuming that you're gonna power that warrior. Um, <laughs> oh, and his power pierced. Oh, gets the power. Oh, yeah, huge power. Yeah, so he's freed well, up. Probably. Yeah, now he has to because he had to follow up back. Backwards, mm -hmm. um, gets the removal, um, but that's not what matters here. What matters is the GFI. It's a three plus and it fails! It has to reroll it because otherwise it's a free hit on the ball and it fails again! Well, it's he'll, not a removal. He'll be happy but... that that was a double one on the GFI and not on the handoff, <laughs> to <Yeah>. be fair. <laughs> feel very justified. Here we go. Oh, it's just a five! No, yeah, no real How sad you are, PJ. Yeah. Oh, massive dodge, though. Uh, absolutely huge. Doesn't make the last dodge. And now it's probably easy, right? It's, it, it's pretty easy still to score. So here comes the ball. It's successful. And no rerolls. Um, is it a GFI still? Like, no, I can't that's a good question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one GFI, but three One GFI D. without a reroll. <laughs> 3D. Yeah, that's the first most important one. And he gets that one, so bye bye, Pestigor. Uh, is it bye bye forever? He used the Wiz. He used the Wiz this turn, Nick. He literally yeah. used it this turn. It is bye-bye, and it's a forever bye-bye. No, it's not. This regen that was just the normal badly injured. Um, but yeah, three plus to win. Three plus, yeah. Oh, he gets it disgusting. Looks like the handoff ended up, you know, was better, right? The yeah, handoff was an eight yeah. out of nine to win, and this was a three plus to win in the yeah. end. But uh, that was a pretty flipping good match. Of... It was. It was very fun to watch. Uh, a lot of things that was happening. That was yeah, a lot of things that happened. <laughs> Twenty-one, twenty-four in armor breaks. It felt that way, right? Um, both of them getting some quite big, big removals at times. It was a super rowdy match. Commiserations to Jehanian. Congratulations to Magikarp Red. Thank you, yep. Daedal, for being the booth. Glorious. Thank you for having me again, despite my numerous <laughs> disappointments in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.